Hi, I'm Alden Hamilton with Black Cross Military Collectibles. I just want to show you a few pieces that we've just recently picked up. But before I do, just to remind you that our update is scheduled for tomorrow, Sunday, April 14th, around 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we have about 100 new items that we're going to be posting. Let me show you a couple of them, okay? Um, not many of you probably have seen one of these. This is a very, very rare original piece. It is the beret worn by uh, the Hitler Youth females, the BDM or the young maidens, um, that were volunteer um, letter carriers uh, during the war. Um, the wartime manpower shortages necessitated uh, the need for these girls to be volunteer letter carriers uh, to replace those, obviously, that um, those men that had gone into service. So, and note on the inside, it's a uh, maker mark to a very well-known uh, headgear maker, Robert Lubstein, um, and it's which is also known as the Arel pattern. Obviously, it's also a Reichsbahn, or not Reichsbahn, the Reich post marked on the inside. Wonderful, wonderful early original piece. Uh, speaking of Reichsbahn. This is a tablecloth from a dining car. Um, I don't know if you can see that eagle that's embroidered in there. There's a wonderful eagle embroidered with the initials of DR for Deutsche Reichsbahn. This is a linen tablecloth that graced the table of a dining car, first class dining car uh, on, a, on a German National Railway, Railways car, obviously. Lot, lots of guys like to say, well, this was out of Goering's uh, personal car. That's nonsense. Um, there uh, were, were first-class dining cars on most trains, uh, and they were handsomely appointed with fine linen, wonderful china, again, always attributed to Gehring, which is not true. Silverware, that sort of thing, was really, really a nice piece. Fine linen uh, tablecloth. We picked up a really nice um, shelter half. Now, I know these are common, but this one is clean. The Zeltbahn. Nice piece. Um, I wanted to show you this uh, American 82nd Division Sergeant's tunic. Um, our buddy Cliff got this out of the woodwork. That's a great expression, right? Everybody uses that. Out of the woodwork up in Northern Virginia. This was Alvin York's outfit, uh, the 82nd Infantry. Great handmade patch, wonderful patch, um, with the original collar discs. This is obviously a signals chevron for sergeant, which is a pretty rare rank. Now, very common in World War II for our GIs to get up to this rank. Not so in World War I. This guy was old army. Most of these guys came home and they were, you know, PFCs, um, even after having been over there uh, for a year. Uh, this has obviously the overseas um, chevrons for a year in France, but thought you'd like to see this. It's in a wonderful state of preservation. Uh, great World War I uniform. I'm really surprised it hasn't sold yet, to be honest with you. Speaking of coming out of the woodwork, really, really nice Luftwaffe M40 single decal. Again, our, our, our buddy Cliff got this. Chin strap was cut, uh, but it's exactly uh, the way the vet obviously brought it home. Great piece. That's going to be on the update. Uh, nice gas mask, and I love this piece. This is a Prussian NCO's um, visor cap. Very rare article. Typically you see the pillbox caps, uh, but this is Prussian infantry. Wonderful piece, great profile, nice shape, uh, and it even has the original or a fragment or part of the original maker's tag on the back there. So something, a piece of headgear you do not see is this um, wonderful Prussian visor cap. To show you a couple of repros, man, have we picked up some great stuff. Um, this is, and there's a, gosh, you run into these out there and they're being sold as genuine, but this is in a remarkable um, example of the um, Eagle Order Breast Star. And notice the clasp on the back, that very heavy-duty pinback. This is incredible. 
the quality of this thing. This is from the 1960s. These were made, a few of them. You run into them every once in a while, and they obviously were sold as genuine back then, as they are now, quite often. So you'll see this piece. You're going to love this cigarette case. Um, hallmarked on the bottom, jeweler hallmarked, appears to be genuine silver. It has the uh, Nuremberg 1929, you know, 10 year anniversary of the party badge on the front. Uh, it has a ba you know, balsa wood insert for three different types of cigarettes. It's very European, obviously, given the size of the smokes and uh, appears to be real silver. This, I can tell you, is a fake. And really, the only reason why I know it's a fake is because I bought it from a very reputable guy as a fake. Um, lovely Luftwaffe Pilot Observer badge combined with diamonds. God, it's a beautiful piece. Don't see these very often. Obviously, it's a counterfeit, but a very good one. Here's a piece I'd like to talk about a little bit. SS Enlisted Ranks Dagger. This is an Atwood piece. You've all heard about these, I'm sure. Back in the 1960s, Atwood was stationed in Germany, had lots of opportunities to go to Zollingen and other places and just find all kinds of parts and components of daggers. He then assembled those daggers uh, into a piece like this, which is virtually impossible to tell. Uh, that it is. They were sold back then as parts daggers and as real daggers. Um, I don't even remember the price. I was a kid back then, but I remember them. God, everybody was scooping these up. I think they were like 15 bucks or something like that. This one, the blade, is not a um, original blade. It's a reproduction that was made over there. Uh, but all of the other parts and components in this dagger are... Um, they're genuine, if, if you can believe it. Um, lovely piece. Again, the blade is an old, old repro that was made over there. It's an, it's a, an Atwood parts dagger. Um, that pretty well covers it. Um, make sure you check in with us. I just wanted to show you just a couple of real quick pieces, but make sure you check in with us tomorrow. 10 o'clock. Check us out on Facebook, please. Give us a like. Uh, we'd love to hear from you, and we love this business, as you know. So please, please stay in touch, and thanks.